Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a Spreaker. Um, so yeah, um, right now it is 8.07 in the morning and you know I just want to just have a little chitty chitty chat chat. So um. Yeah, I just want to talk to y'all really, really quick. Um, I want to know how was y'all's day, yesterday, the day before, the weekend, all of that. So, um, hold on just a second. I have my headphones on. So hopefully, it produces um, better uh, sound quality. So I just want to give all everybody another hand clap for just taking the time to listen to this. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about um, the election and then the real and then all of that and other stuff. So I want to talk to you guys about President Obama. Now, um, I know y'all remember um, when President Obama was elected. Nobody liked him at first, you know. I felt like when he when he became president, he made American history. He really made American history for being the first black president. Every time they, I just feel like people always got something to say. Oh, where's his papers at and all of that stuff. But y'all really don't question Donald Trump as much as y'all do President Barack Obama. That's how I feel. If you don't like it, you can click to the left, the exit, and watch somebody else's video that has the same views as you. Because in this, um, you will probably not like what I have to say about Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump is not my favorite. Okay? He is not my favorite. So, that sound means if you don't like it, then get off. You got three seconds. Alright, so Donald Trump. He's fin to be President Trump. I will not call him that. Um, I just don't respect Donald Trump. Um, I, I just don't have respect for him. I feel like I was looking on Instagram... And, um, follow me at Baddie123BB, B-A-D-D-I-E, 123-B-E-B-E. And I was looking on Instagram, and I was like, I was scrolling down through, you know, random pages. And I stopped on this one, and it was a sign of white people holding President Obama and telling him, hang yourself, and all of that, and, um, I just feel like, you want us to respect Donald Trump, but y'all don't respect the president that y'all got now, it really makes me upset, like I said, yesterday, I was very depressed, um, because, um, I'm a little bit less depressed today, but I was a little bit depressed because I was still upset that Donald Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States of America. I just feel like more people, more people voted for um, Hillary than Trump. I just really believe that. I just feel like, why would you concede? And he won by default. I feel like Hillary is a lawyer and she needs to go to, I think, the Supreme Court or something. And tell them to recount the votes in all 50 states. Because I do believe that this election was rigged or cheated. Probably both. 
Uh, I just, I, I'm just upset. And you guys, there has been riots about Donald Trump being president. I'm serious. If you look on my Instagram page, I reposted a post. And it's these people rioting because they do not want Donald Trump as president. And I'm going to be honest, I will not call him my president. Because guess what? A lot of people, when President Obama, when he first got in office, I heard a lot of white people say that he's not their president. So I'm going to do the same thing for Donald Trump. I just don't like him. My views is different from his views. Um, I just don't agree with everything that he says. None of the things he says, I um, I just really think, if you want to be honest, I think um, when um, Harry called to concede and he had that speech, calling talking about unify America, I just think that speech was a bunch of bull crap. Um, I just looked at it like I don't really care. I was very upset. Um, I was crying literally yesterday. I was really, really crying. I was, I just, I felt like the people that was on TV, like, Yesterday, like, when the election, when they announced Donald Trump was going to be president or president-elect, my heart just was shocked. I was just like, wow, y'all is really fit to have, we are really fit to have this man as president. I'm just, what? Like, why? And all of that. And it's just so annoying. And then yesterday, it kind of sunk in that, Donald Trump is finna be our president. I literally start crying. Uh, my mom was like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, this just this election stuff. You guys, I have never took an election. When I was born, George Bush was president. The son. George, what is it? George W. Bush was president when I was born. Okay, and then um, he got out of office and then became President Obama who became president. And then, if y'all remember, it was... The next election, it was between him and Mitt Romney. And then President Obama got reelected. Um, I just felt like I just feel like a lot of white people don't understand that uh, to see a man that's the same skin color as you in president. It's like it boosted my self esteem up. It's like. Yeah, black people can do stuff. We can make it. We can be president. We can be the Senate. We can be Congress. We can be Supreme Court judge. We can do anything. And I just feel like a lot of parents need to tell their children now. And when Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, became president, they need to tell their children that, look at this man. He's the same skin color as you. You can do the same thing that he did when he grew up. You can be something different and do the same thing. You can be the president. You don't have to be the president of the United States. You can be a president of your company. You can be the CEO of a company. Parents need to start cheering their children up. Because guess what? A lot of children right now is probably losing self-esteem because Donald Trump is in office. And I told my mom told me yesterday everything's going to be fine. I cried Four times yesterday, and then me and my mom was watching some DVR um, that we recorded on our TV uh, that we had DVR, and um, it was the Hillary one, and that just oh that I started crying. I went in the bathroom and I was like, oh my god, it, Hillary is not going to be president. Now for the people that didn't vote, this is my opinion. <laughs> This is my opinion. You guys should have voted. Because let me tell you something. Stuff is about to go down. I am serious. Stuff is about to go down. And you guys should have voted. for. The, I hate people voting saying, I don't like neither candidates. But you still need to vote. So we, but you should have still voted. But it's too late now. We're stuck with Donald Trump. But guess what? Donald Trump works for us. And guess what? We can get him vetoed out of that office. I just want to see. I'm going to see. He said he's going to do something the first 100 days. 
Um, I don't, I haven't looked at it. I know somebody wrote it, wrote a list of what he said. I'm going to look at it and see if it's stuff that I agree with. And if I don't agree with it, everybody needs to stand up and raise their voice. It is time for people to take this. This election right here, they said this is the biggest upset in America. We need to take we need to take action. We need to take action. Nobody wants to bring up that he's got an endorsement from the Nazis and the KKK. Nobody wants to bring that up, but everybody wants to bring up uh, other Barack Obama's past and all of that. And, oh, his mama, his daddy. and Who cares? Who freaking cares? What we care about, and actually, Barack Obama did do a lot of stuff in this country. Nobody just don't wants to give him credit for what he does. What you need to do is give credit where credit is due. Barack Obama did a lot of stuff for this country, and nobody wants to give him credit where credit is due. Uh, they got mad because Malia Obama uh, smoked weed. And, God, and, go to the next thing. Every time something is brought up about President Barack Obama, everybody always just want to tear him down, tear him down, tear him down. And when I looked, when I saw the caption, when the guy said, um, um, when the lady said, y'all didn't respect our president, President Obama, President Obama. we're not going to respect him. Respect Donald Trump. I just don't respect him. I don't respect his views. I don't respect his values. I do not like Melina Trump. Why would I want a president's wife that got naked pictures all over the internet? That is not showing. That stuff is not showing how girls is supposed to be. You need to teach your daughters that you should not take naked pictures all over the internet. That's just embarrassing. And these are my opinions as a young person. These are really just my opinions. I am not the legal age to vote. I won't be able to. Um, the legal age to vote is 18. But I figured out um, yesterday that when I be 18, there's going to be a president already in office. So I won't be able to vote until I'm 20. So I'm. this election is the election that I really took to heart. I'm just, I really took this election to heart. Um. It's just so sad that we have a president that is racist. Um, talk about grabbing women by the VJJ. Um, It's just little girls have to hear that. People my age have to hear that. And we need to remind ourselves that we need to stand up for our rights. This is the time where America needs to stand up for our rights. Um, he doesn't need to take out Obamacare. Because there's going to be millions of people that's going to be off of insurance. He doesn't need, um, um, what is it, um, I'm so heated right now, I just done forgot. And I only have 15 minutes to talk, so hold on. Um, I may do another one, another speaker, um, about what I'm going to say. Um... I do not agree with him taking out Obamacare. Um, I'm sorry, I just don't agree with that. Um, so, if you have your opinions, uh, please, I will disable, probably disable the comments. I don't know, I probably won't, but these are my opinions. Um, if you don't like it, click the exit. Um, you should have done already, click the exit already. But, um, yeah, um... Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and, um, yeah, I'll just see you guys later. Um, I love you guys, and, um, hope you guys have a great day. Alright, bye-bye.